Hey guys, welcome to the lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try the one of these new Michelangelo's Pesto Chicken with Romano Cheese. It's cavatappi, which is a type of pasta. A pasta, grilled white meat chicken, and tomato sauce topped with the pesto and Romano Cheese. We bought these at Walmart. They were $2.96 uh, per meal. Let's see, how big is this one? This one's a 9 ounce or 255 grams. So, too bad. Oh, here's calories. 380 calories for the whole tray. And here's other information for you. And let's see, directions. Um, it does have oven directions, so if you want to look at the oven directions, there they are. In microwave, that's all we do on this channel, so microwave. Um, remove entree from carton. Oh, sorry, I was reading that. Um, place tray in microwave with film on and cook for six minutes. Wow, that's a long cooking meal. Carefully remove entree from the microwave, remove film, stir, and let it stand for two more minutes. So six minutes with the cover on, and then take it off, stir it, and let it sit for two minutes. So, oh, I have a full tab. Full tab, don't have to fight with the glue. You just have to fight with the full tab. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to get this in the microwave. really not much to look at, but uh, I'm going to get in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. Took the plastic off. I'm supposed to stir it. A lot of seasoning on that one side. Look like that. That's the um, um can think of the word. I'll get it in a second. Ooh, steam. So you're supposed to let this sit for a couple of minutes. Um, since it's so hot, I'm gonna let it um, sit and cool off a minute too, but it's good and stir it up. Yeah, and hold on. That is the pesto. Yeah, the green pesto. That's what it is. Good thing of the word. So anyway, I'm going to let this cool off a minute, and uh, I'll be back once uh, once it's cooled off. All right, so I think it's that time to cool off. There's a piece of chicken and um, some of the pasta. And, of course, the sauce and the pesto is all stirred in. So And the cheese. Not too awfully bad. Um, I don't generally like, I know some people love pesto sauce. I don't generally like pesto sauce because it has a bitter, like green grass flavor to me. It just doesn't taste very good. Um, I was hoping the low, the layer of, the levels of pesto were going to be pretty low and it wouldn't be able to taste it really strong, but it's still pretty strong. The pasta is also um, tough and chewy. It's not really well cooked pasta. That piece was better. So really it probably just depends on what bite you get. Um, the chicken's okay. It's not the best chicken in the world. It's kind of, it's kind of dry. Let me get one more piece. It's a little dry and tough too. So overall, um, not my kind of meal. The, uh, like I said, the pesto is pretty strong in here. Um, some bites stronger than others. And um, the chicken's dry. The pasta's kind of tough and rubbery. I don't know. I, I, this is one I'd probably skip. I just got a bite that had like a crispy piece of cheese off the edge. That was a really good bite. But you had that toasted cheese flavor. Yeah, I think this one's just okay for me. Um, it's a personal preference about the, the pesto, but the, the rest of it, this being tough and chewy and dry, is um, it's going to definitely drop it down to a three at the, at the very, very best. Might even be a two and a half just based on textures and stuff. The textures are, are kind of rough. Yeah, pretty much every piece of pasta I get is tough and chewy, almost rubbery. Or maybe if you did it in the oven, it might make a difference, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it would or not. Um, six minutes is a long time to cook a meal in the microwave, so I'm thinking maybe the pasta wasn't cooked when it first went in, and, or semi-cooked, and then you're really finished in cooking it, and it didn't quite make it there. It didn't, didn't do a well enough job of cooking it. So uh, I'm going to leave it as a three, even though I really do think um, there's, a, there's enough bad here to where it doesn't taste bad, but it's just got funny texture. So 
I'm still going to leave it at a three. I'll be, I'll be nice. I'll leave it at a three. Probably would have given it more of a two and a half, but I'll leave it at a three because if you heat it, if somebody else does it in their microwave, it might be perfectly fine. So um, I'm going to still leave it at a three. The pesto is a little strong for me, but if you like pesto, then you would like this. And the sauce itself, the tomato sauce is actually pretty decent. Uh, and the chicken flavor is good. But beyond that, yeah, I, I could probably take it or leave it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.